Okay, today we're going to uh, look at how to assess uh, whether or not a capacitor is, is good or if it's failed or partially failed. Um, we're looking at a, a typical uh, capacitor bank whereby you have a, a vacuum contactor, a vacuum switch, which turns the stage on or off. Um, you have an inrush reactor feeding a common bus and then through a fuse to a capacitor. In this case, there are two, two capacitors per phase. Phase is A, B, and C. Uh, the neutrals on all three phases are tied together, are common, and this is an ungrounded Y configuration. Uh, there are other configurations. This is uh, probably the most common we'll see. So, if we wanted to uh, assess uh, this capacitor, for instance, uh, first thing we want to do is make sure it's de-energized, of course, and then uh, remove the fuse. There's uh, clips on either side of the fuse. You can release those clips. Carefully remove the fuse. Now we've isolated that individual capacitor. Again, the, uh, the one side is common with the other phases. That's okay. Uh, we're going to measure across the terminals of the capacitor. Uh, so we're going to uh, need to. Uh, procure a suitable meter to measure capacitance. In this case, the unit of measure is microfarads. Uh, so you want a, a decent, accurate meter that measures microfarads. So we'll clip uh, one side to the common end of the capacitor and the other clip to the other terminal of the capacitor. And in this case, we're measuring 82.2 microfarads. So what does that mean? Well, that's the measured value. And in order to uh, assess whether or not that's correct, you need to go to the information plate on the capacitor itself. And that could be at different locations depending on the brand of capacitor. This is a GE capacitor. And so there's an information plate riveted to uh, the mounting bracket. So if you look at that plate, there should be a value on that plate from the factory. And in fact, uh, it reads 82.2 82 .2 microfarads. So that's the value that was uh, measured at the factory when the capacitor was manufactured. And let's compare that again to the measured value, 82.2. So they, in fact, match exactly. So we know this capacitor is good. Uh, if it was partially failed, uh, you would see a higher value, a higher microfarad reading uh, as the sections in the capacitor are, are in series. So if you lose a section, you're going to, need to read a higher value. And 10% uh, uh, is usually the, the value that we uh, consider the good range. Anything over 10%, we consider that a, a failed or failing capacitor. Uh, the other situation would be a uh, completely shorter capacitor or possibly a, an open. Um, in any case, uh, you would get a reading other than the nameplate value. 